So Louise just blessed me with some amazing birthday gifts, even though it's not my birthday at all today. Not at all, right, huh? Check these out. Talos of Tech Blue. This <laughs> shirt, by the way, also from her. Uh, feels very cozy, very slick. As well, some new, what are these called, hun? Sunglasses? Sunglasses. <laughs> well, isn't there a term for these type? No. Okay, Cheap sunglasses. sunglasses. <laughs> Cheap sunglasses. <laughs> but they're with red. With the product red. I have a pair that's blue somewhere, um, but I don't know where they are. But uh, I like these because they will match my product red watch band and the dot and the Ikea chairs. Mm -hmm. And now I have ecosystem. So whenever I'm drinking my red Tesla mug with my red knife and my red watch band with red sunglasses. It's like you're in a, what are those things called? A gang. Actually, we could have got red shoes. Dang it, hon. I messed up. I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I'm kidding. Me? I love oh, you. Oh, don't stab me. Oh. Probably shouldn't say I love you while holding someone at knife point. <laughs> Cologne. This is kind of to red. To keep you smelling fresh. To keep smelling fresh. And I, and I really needed this too. <laughs> and also, of course, something no man can live without. Oreo double stuff. Yeah, With boy. more stuffing than you can imagine. Great. So thank you, hun. Very thoughtful. You're welcome. Happy birthday. But it's not my birthday. Right. It's just at some point. Anyway. At some point. Early birthday. You guys don't get to know when. You get the <laughs> window, but that's it. <laughs> I have traveled to the land of my people, Ikea. It's a Swedish company, in case you were wondering. And I'm a Swedish person. I'm trying to find some furniture. See if we can find anything. Okay, everyone. Listen up. It's a little bit of rant time. You know what? We, we spent a lot of the last vlog in that one. I just want to walk around. This helps me rant more. So the reason I went to Ikea very, very briefly was, first of all, my parents are going to Spokane to see my niece. They needed a ride, so I dropped them off. Whatever. Ikea was 20 minutes from the airport, and we got this TV stand way before we moved into this office. Or at least so we thought. We got part of it, but Ikea made it very difficult to know that it actually came in two separate boxes. We just went through the checkout line with only one of the boxes we needed. They didn't stop us. We got it all the way back here. We didn't unbox it until we could move into this place because we didn't really have room for it back at the old office. So we get here, we start putting it together, we start putting the drawers together, and then realize we're missing a bunch of pieces then slowly put together that we only have half of the pieces there's another box we need to grab so I figured well next time we go to Ikea we'll find the other box and buy it and then we'll put the TV stand together right well drive all the way there find the exact box I needed find the exact code that says you have box one this is box two you need that box so I grab it after walking through the whole Ikea catalog thing where there's different floors and you go through and look at every single section of the store finally get to the end there's the box we need. I put it on the cart, take it to checkout, and the lady at checkout says, where's the other box? You only have one of the pair. And I said, I already have one. It's back at my house. I'm just getting box two so it is complete so I can put them together. She says, do you have proof of purchase? You have to prove that you ordered one of these boxes and don't have the second one. And I'm just kind of like, well, funny. Why did you not need proof of purchase that I needed the second box when I bought the first box? No one stopped me at the checkout process and said, hey, by the way, you only have half the TV stand, which is basically useless. No one stopped me there, but the second time, when I'm trying to fix this problem so that, you know, when they screwed up the first time, it doesn't matter because I can just go back, pick up the second box, problem solved. Now they're not going to let me unless I show proof of purchase, which sadly, that was like two months ago. I don't know where the receipt is for that. I didn't bring it with me, of course, because I figured what company would care if you were buying just one pair of a set? Also, who would lie about that? Why do you need proof of purchase? Who would lie? Run to every Ikea and say, I'm gonna buy half a TV stand. They'll get my money, but I won't get furniture out of it. They never know what'll hit them. This makes no sense to me. They had everything to gain, even if I was lying. For some weird reason, even if someone lied to them and said, Oh yeah, I've got the first box. I'm just buying the second one. They would still be making a sale. I assume that there is not an odd number of these packages, which means that because I own one of the two boxes necessary, it means that at some point there was an uneven number because someone at Ikea at the checkout process the first time we went didn't do their job right. 
but this time they want to do their job correctly and in result we have half a tv stand that we can't do anything with i've looked everywhere i'm not really sure where the ikea receipt is and besides that even if i found it i would have to drive the hour and a half back to ikea from chico just to get another half of an ikea tv stand which we've already replaced it with some cheap walmart tv stand we found i don't think it looks that bad it's been working fine for us so far but i just didn't want to return the ikea tv stand because we already started building it we'd have to take it apart package it back up and then drive it all the way back there with the receipt and probably get you know 90 bucks back so would it really be worth it after all that struggle probably not i'd rather just have the second tv stand but just because they do the job wrong maybe i should take a picture with it i should send them a selfie with me in it and be like look i have it right here i don't know where the receipt is but you let me buy one half why would i lie about that i don't know i'm kind of a pushover when it comes to customer service i don't rant on the phone i don't rant in person if they say no you can't take this most of the time i'll just say okay sorry so that whole trip was pointless i was able to pick up a couple of nice branded ikea chairs you know the classic product red ones we got last time they're good chairs they're pretty easy to put together i bought them for my apartment which was currently empty and some people were asking drew why don't you show your apartment i didn't know you had one it's very small and i've been trying to treat this with a different atmosphere than the tech office because i don't know last time i showed where i lived everyone tried to figure out where it was and i don't want to go through all that again and i kind of like now in my life keeping work and home separate so that's why i'm not going to show it to you and you'll just take my word for it it doesn't look very good it's kind of boring and ugly right now it's not very large and i spend most of my time at the office anyway so that's why i don't show it to you but at least i got a couple of ikea chairs out of the trip so that was worth it i suppose but one thing i do like about ikea and this is less policy and more just how the structure of their business works is while i was putting together the more generic version of the ikea chair i had at my apartment i was thinking how complicated it is to make that work when you think about it. Not only do they have to design a chair that looks good, but they have to design a chair that can be easily customizable between cushion and wood finish. Also, it can be easily put together. It only takes like 10 to 15 minutes to put one of those chairs together with like a basic little bracket tool and some screws and wood. And then it holds itself together. It can hold people of pretty sizable weight. And on top of that, it's also very comfortable. That's a ton of factors the engineers for that chair had to think about. How do we make this look modern? How is it portable? You can fit all of the parts to this chair in a very compact wooden box, and yet it's still comfortable, looks good, customizable, and at a fairly decent price. That's impressive. I see why that chair is so popular, and I don't think we give them enough credit for that design of the chair. There's a lot of things they had to think about when designing it, and I like them a lot. They're very comfy. All right, so that's the end of the IKEA topic. Hope you found it interesting. Somebody touch my regret.